welcome to Fall Product Program. We are excited to share our new updates with you. My name is Lauren Willett. I'm the head of Fall Product Sales for Council. I'm joined by Robin and also Crystal as part of our council team. And we also have Doug and Todd to present to you the Fall Product Program tonight. All right, so let's get started. Um, when we talk about true proceeds, I feel like that's always important to highlight. Um, last year, our troops earned almost $122,000 in troop proceeds. The troops that participated in the fall product, they earned an average of $392 per troop. So that's money right in their bank account when they get started. So we're pretty proud of that. As you all know, I'm sure you've seen your girls do amazing things with their proceeds. The girls aren't just earning money though. They're also gaining these five leadership skills that we're quite proud of. They're learning how to goal set. They're learning money management skills, decision-making and business ethics. So it's always good to remind your leaders of those skills the kids are earning too. With those proceeds, like I said, the kids do pretty awesome things. We love to see all the things that they're doing. Um, they're getting the skills that we talked about. They're using their money to go on adventures and to do fun things around their community. And they're also supporting council through the Girl Scout experience. So those troop proceeds that I was talking about are going to remain the same as they were last year. They're going to get 20% of the total sales for each item that they sell for nuts and candy. And then for those magazines and more, which are the bark box, the tumblers, they're going to get um, $3 per item sold. And from here, we're ready to hand it over to Doug to talk to you about all of the fun and exciting products for sale and also the M2 dashboard. Well, thank you very much, Lauren. And as you see on the screen, the girls have the opportunity to create an online storefront that actually can be uh, done with three easy steps in about five to seven minutes. And the items that are available on that online storefront are going to be the delicious Ashton Farms nuts and chocolates. There'll be bark box uh, items, three actual offerings this year. And then there'll be magazine subscriptions and there will be turbo tumblers available. So when the girl when the customers go to the girls online storefront, they're going to get there through a link that is provided in the girls uh, in, in an email that is sent out and prompted by the girl when she sets up her online storefront. The link will be able to be clicked on by the customer and then they're going to land right on the girls storefront. There will be actually be four boxes of products, the magazines, the nuts and chocolates, the Tervis tumblers and the bark box items, allowing the customer to select right away which which items they want to start shopping for so they can support the Girl Scout. If they do click on the nut and chocolate storefront, I will give a quick little blurb and then Todd will follow it up with some more information. But in the site, our, our site determines and asks the customer, do you want the items that are going to appear in the nut and chocolate storefront to be uh, delivered to you by the girl herself at the end of the program or shortly after making your purchase online through v, uh, through UPS or Federal Express where you don't mind paying for the shipping. And Todd will go over and explain a little bit more about which products are gonna show up in which of those storefronts, but we do allow the customer to make that choice ahead of time um, before they start shopping for the nuts and chocolates. And then at the end of the shopping experience, after, this, after the customer has made their selections, they're going to check out using their credit card and they're gonna land on a page that looks very similar to this. It's going to have all of the products available again, and they're going to be able to select more products that they can continue shopping for should they want to continue to support the girl. Up in the upper left-hand corner, there is the ability for the customer to print a receipt as well as um, request to be placed as a top supporter on the girl's website. Now, I think what's going to happen, and a lot of uh, volunteers tell me, that when customers 
would like to be placed as a top supporter on the girls' uh, storefronts for others to see, that's going to create some fun family competition between those aunts and uncles that are vying to be the most favorite and well, well appreciated and well liked aunt and uncle or grandparents or neighbors or, you know, those types of people. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We did not actually have this page last year. And so we had a very high percentage of customers that shopped at only one storefront because they couldn't really go anywhere else without going all the way back to the original email. Now, after they check out, they're going to come right to this page. And we believe this will drastically incre increase the percentage of customers that shop at more than one of the storefronts. There'll be magazine subscriptions um, that are available as well. So there'll be a box for those as well. And of course, the magazine subscriptions are offered uh, on an annual basis. They're going to, the, the, um, they're very popular. They've been part of this program for decades and we've got it. Um, software built into the system. So those that ordered magazines last year and have, are currently uh, reaching the end of their subscription, they can easily renew their subscription through our through our software um, where it's one click of the button. As long as they don't need a change of address or anything else, they will simply confirm all the delivery information. And just like that, that renewed subscription will land in their uh, shopping cart. And like we talked about, before, the Tervis tumblers are back for the second year in a row, all offered at the same same prices as last year, more selection in the uh, in the plastic version and the stainless steel version, and uh, all shipped to the customer's house. We are really excited about having Tervis Tumbler come back and support the Girl Scouts of Green and White Mountains, as well as all the councils in the country with the fall product program. And we introduced, uh, uh, through our website, we introduced the relationship that GSUSA has with BarkBox, and it was premiered with one BarkBox item last year. That's the one you see on the left-hand side. It had a green beret, a squeaky toy, along with a canister of Berry Trio treats. They sold out midstream last year and had to place a new order, and so some of the customers that placed an order after October 5th had to actually wait until February to get theirs. Well, that is no longer going to happen because GSUSA has, has um, promised everybody that they have enough inventory to handle every single order this year. Uh, within reason, of course, but um, they actually added two more versions. The, the, uh, they, they have some leftover versions from last year, and they have the version on the right-hand side that has the some more squeaky toy, and then they created the full bark, bark box that has two more squeaky toys with the, the green trefoil and the belly rubs squeaky toy to go with the s'mores this year. So we're really excited about having three choices for all those dog lovers out there. Please keep in mind that these are the prices of each of them. Last year's is offered at the same price that it debuted at at $19.99. This year's version is coming in at $22.99. And then that full bark box with three squeaky toys and the canister of berry trio uh, dog treats is coming in at $27.99. One small change on the delivery uh, cost. Last year, it was $5 to have as many of them delivered to the same address as you wanted in one shopping experience. This year, obviously with the cost of everything going up that we deal with, uh, BarkBox had to increase the cost of shipping. So they're charging $5 for the first one, another $5 for the second one, but they're capping it at a total of $10. So if you wanna buy 20 of them, you'll only pay a total of $10 sh uh, shipping for all 20 of those, as long as, it's the, as long as it's the same shopping experience and they're all going to the same address. And you know what? It's super easy. I mentioned before that it takes three easy steps and about five to seven minutes for the girl to set up her online storefront. Well, once she sets it up, there's a dashboard that she will land on where she can do lots of different things, manage the email addresses that she put in into the system, confirm the membership, highlight Girl Scout goals, uh, build an avatar, re, uh, revise her avatar. She can create a video and upload it for all of her customers to see. There are so many fun things for her to be able to do in order to uh, you know, get involved with the fall product program and have her online store. Now, 
As I mentioned before, it takes three easy steps and about five to seven minutes. The second step in the process is simply creating an avatar, an avatar that looks like the girl herself. And we encourage all the girls to do this because we tell them this is going to be your online salesperson. After the five to seven minutes, once your store is open for business, you get to walk away and get back to your normal activities where your avatar, your online salesperson is going to do a lot of the work for you. It's going to communicate with your customers because you can add your voice to the avatar and have that avatar talk to every one of your customers in your own voice. Then we have lots of tools. After the store is open, she can the, the Girl Scouts can go ahead and do things like um, click on an icon that says door hangers and a, and a whole page of door hangers pops up on her screen. She can print those out and distribute them. They're already pre-made with her avatar, information about her specific situation, herself, and as a QR code for all the customers to scan to go to her own online store. There's also business cards that she can pull up right on screen. We've already created them for her. She just clicks the icon and a whole page of business cards pop up. She can print those off. She can distribute those um, at her leisure as well. The more door hangers, the more business cards she hands out, the more success she's going to have. And she can even text out the link to her storefront um, to all of her contacts, to her family members. And up in the upper right-hand corner is a picture of what the ad looks like when it comes up on a family member's uh, telephone. They can simply click on that and land right on the Girl Scouts uh, storefront and begin supporting her. So we did make one change to the business cards. If you're familiar with the business cards from previous years, you remember that there was the girl's avatar picture on there. We took off the avatar picture and replaced it with a QR code because we realized that the request we were getting from customers and from um, uh, participants was that, hey, you know what? It's a lot easier for people to scan in a QR code, thanks to COVID and restaurants, um, where we're all using a QR code now. And, and that makes the shopping experience go a lot smoother, a lot easier. And when you can do that for a customer, that customer is pleased and will be more supportive than if they had to type in a URL and the directions that you see on the left-hand side. Either way, the bo both options are still available on the business cards. We added an icon to the girl's dashboard to help make her look good and to help uh, teach her that, you know what, gratitude is a good thing. So the icon we added is called the supporter thank you. When she clicks on that icon, and we encourage you to encourage every girl to do this right on the very first day of the program, have her click on the icon, have her click get started, and then she can go ahead and customize the body of a thank you email that will automatically be sent out once she activates this. That means that every time a customer goes and shops on her online storefront, our system, because she activated it, will automatically send, her, send the customer an email from the Girl Scout herself of appreciation and gratitude. And we believe that not only will that make her look good, it'll make her feel good. And next year when she goes and asks for support from those customers, those customers are going to remember the fact that, wow, they got an email from her uh, of gratitude and they will be more apt to support her program again. Well, one of the things we do at M2 Media is we, uh, besides picking the rewards we and supplying the rewards, we also choose the mascot for the year. And we are excited to introduce the Asian elephant. There's a lot of learning that can go into um, this animal. First of all, it is endangered. Second of all, it is very different than the African elephant. Most Girl Scouts, most people in general think of an elephant being the African element elephant. So to educate the girls, take some time, show them a few snippets from YouTube, um, a few facts, and what you're going to find out is they're going to feel empowered because they know a little bit more, and they're going to fall in love with this animal. And then when they see that there's a plush version of it in the reward program, that's going to make some of them want to participate just because they want a plush version of the Asian elephant. And our personalized patches. Remember, step two of the building the online storefront is creating an avatar. 
Well, if you're new to this program, let me tell you, for the last nine years, the girls have been able to earn a patch with their specific avatar on it um, and their name, their initials, or their nickname at the top of the patch. No different this year. They get to design their patch. They get to put, whether it's the first name, nickname, or initials at the top, they get to pick between the two backgrounds that you see on the screen. And all it takes to earn this patch is in step number three of building their online uh, storefront, they just put in 15 email addresses of family members, friends of the family, or even people that the parents work with. And then when they reach $375 in total sales, this patch will automatically go into production and be mailed to the address she provides on the page where she built this patch. So the faster she earns this patch, the faster she will earn, uh, she will receive the patch in her mailbox. Now, troop leaders, all of you get to earn this patch as well. You get to design your avatar, design the patch, and then when your troop reaches $2,000 in total sales, and after you've activated the feature called the Parent Adult Email Campaign, that triggers an email to go to every parent on the first day of the sale. So we encourage each of you to launch that with one click of the button. After you've met both criteria, your patch too will go into production and be mailed to your house upon completion. and lots and lots of different rewards available. Please understand, take some time to go ahead and look at the order card and understand that the order card uh, reward program is cumulative. So when you hit the $275 in sales, you get those theme stickers. Then when you hit $475 in sales, you will add to the theme stickers, the necklace and the LED scrunchie. $675, you're gonna have a choice between the small plush and the diamond art kit and so forth and so on. So it's a really robust, really attractive reward program with patches um, at the bottom for you to understand how easy it is to earn all of those. It's really, really great. We've tested these with the girls and got incredible feedback with the popularity of each of the items available on the reward program for this year. So let's go over the volunteer experience very quickly because you get in on the fun too. If you're not familiar with this, you get to create your own avatar. What's going to happen is on September 22nd, you're going to get an email from the system inviting you to log in for the very first time. That September 22nd is about a week or just over a week before the program starts. There'll be a link in the email that you can click on. Now, these emails are going to leave our system at 10 a.m. Eastern time on the 22nd, so it should arrive to your inbox no later than noon. But even if it becomes dinner time and you haven't seen it, double check your spam folders just in case it's in there. But you're going to want to mark your calendars to remind yourself to, to look for this email. The sooner you get in, the more success I believe you're going to have. Once you click on the link of the email, you'll be taken to the uh, the main page where you can go ahead and customize your own password, create your avatar, design your patch, and activate the parent adult email campaign. This is what the parent adult email campaign looks like after you've activated it. You can access the parent adult email campaign from a link on your dashboard. And when you do, you'll be able to see what the email will look like that will go out to the caregivers on the first day of the program. So did you catch that? you can actually activate this feature, which authorizes our site to send an email to each one of your parents on the first day of the program. Even if you activate it on September 22nd, those emails will not flow out until the day the program starts. You can add more contacts if you know that there's caregivers involved with the Girl Scout that aren't listed on this page. And you can even see if the parents have opened them, if the emails have been delivered, or, and if they haven't, you can go ahead and click the resend button at any time. Now, there is a link called Paper Order Entry where you're going to be able to get in and click on Paper Order Entry. My recommendation, what I tell all the troop leaders is at the end of the program, first of all, encourage all the girls and the parents to enter the success of their order card sales into the system. They have an icon on their dashboard called Paper Order Entry. You have a link on your dashboard called Paper Order Entry. So let them enter it, and then at the end of the program, ask them to send you an image of their final order card. 
And then you can click on this. You can scroll down to every Girl Scout in your troop and then just match up what they put in with the image just to make sure everything was entered accurately. You don't want somebody to accidentally be delivered 55 uh, of some kind of item when they only really wanted five of them because once the order is submitted, somebody has to pay for those extra 50. So just do a double check for every girl in your troop really quickly. It'll just take a few minutes. Um, and our system provides you the ability to do that. If you need to correct it, you can correct it yourself and then update that girl's order. There's other things you can do from your dashboard, like messaging, so helping the girl select her rewards. There's tons of reports. And then banking and payments are available too. So you can track in a ledger form, um, all of the payments that the girls make to you to pay for the items sold on their order card. Um, and, and the service units can help out with messaging as well. They can message you. You can use the messaging system to go, or I'm sorry, this is service units. My apologies. And both of you, you're all service units and troops. Sorry about that. Um, so you as a service unit leader can message the troop leaders in your service unit. You as a troop leader can message, use a messaging system to message all the girls. You too can help out, um, because you have a paper order entry link on your dashboard and you can do the same thing I just mentioned that the troop leaders could do. You can help them verify that all the orders are correct, make any changes before everybody is shut out of the system and Girl Scouts of Green and White Mountain submits the final nut chocolate order to Ashton Farm. There's lots of banking and payments and other things to do as well. And please remember, what go, can we go back one? Please remember that when you do do paper order entry or you as a troop leader help out with rewards, there's no submit button. So sometimes people say, I'm trying to submit this. I don't know how to do it. What's going on? Don't worry about it. There's really no submit button. And all the information lives live in the system. And then it's just uh, frozen in time when the deadline comes. Then the council uh, reviews all the information and submits that as final to for the rewards or for the products. And please do everybody a favor. Um, this is really important so that the delivery agent can start to plan the delivery route and be as most, most efficient as possible. When you get into the system, just click on a link that says manage service unit troops and Girl Scouts. And then under service unit, you can go under product deliveries and enter your delivery address. Also enter the delivery address where you would like the reward sent to because those will be delivered at two different times after the program is over. Please make sure you do not enter any P.O. boxes because um, the delivery agent can't deliver to a P.O. box and UPS and FedEx can't either. And I'll wrap up with some important dates. Um, the program starts on October 1st. And the last day for the girls and the parents to use the paper order entry link and enter their paper order success will be October 27th. The troop leaders will have one extra day to verify those orders are correct. And then you will have one extra day beyond that to help the troops and the girls and the parents make sure all the orders are correct before the council submits the order to Ashton Farms. The deliveries for all of the nuts and chocolates to all of you service units will be November 15th and 16th. And all online orders um, will shut off also on October the 28th. Couple different things. Remember, I mentioned bank balancing finances using this uh, the banking and payments link. Well, this is where you can go ahead and first of all, on the left hand side, you can uh, uh, log in payments that girls make for their order cards. It's very helpful that you'll find that under banking and payments, and then add a girl payment. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see this this part comes from the reports section and over all the way over the tab on the far right side. When you get to the report section is called the summary report. So this is the most popular report in the system because everybody can see every metric available for the group that they're managing. So enjoy all the reports. Know that they can be downloaded, printed, emailed to each other. Um, but there's so much information um, in the report section.
But what is not in the report section are what's called delivery tickets. Now, the delivery tickets will be found on a link that will appear on your dashboard, on the troops dashboard, after the order has been submitted to Ashton Farms. And only after that order has been submitted. We don't provide the delivery ticket link prior to that because there could be erroneous delivery tickets printed before all changes have been frozen in time. But when they do, when that link does appear, please click on it and you'll land on the page that looks just like this. You can generate delivery tickets by service unit, by troop, and by girl. You can deliver uh, generate them for each of those um, groups, for products, and for rewards. So my suggestion is, first of all, have two delivery tickets printed for each troop that's going to come to your place to pick up all their product and give them one copy, have them sign your copy, and make sure that everything is counted before they drive away. And lastly, I will wrap up with saying M2 has a wonderful uh, customer support team. There's a big building up in Huron, Ohio, housing our entire customer support team. They're there waiting to answer online inquiries at support.gsnutsandmags.com or to pick up the phone when called at 800-372-8520. If you'd like to, take a quick picture of this or a screenshot and use that little business card as an attachment back to any e email inquiries that you get that you can't answer, don't have time to answer, or suggest that they reach out to our team to get the answers they're looking for. Um, it's a great resource for all of you to be able to uh, refer everybody else to. So with that, I think I am done, and I'm going to hand it over to Pod from Ashton Farms. Thank you, Doug. Wow, lots of uh, great options and uh, possibilities for this coming year. Uh, really great news. So next, let's take some time to talk in more detail about the nuts and chocolate uh, from Ashton Farms. Again, the provider of your uh, nut and chocolate products for Girl Scouts. Uh, we've got a, a facility based in Wisconsin. You see some of the photos here of that production facility uh, in Wisconsin on the right side of your screen here. The product is produced, packaged, and then distributed out to you all in the New Hampshire, Vermont area for delivery out to the girls and your customers. And let's add a little bit to the statistics that Lauren shared with a quick recap of 2023. There were some product pricing adjustments necessary to offset the continued pressure on costs, the inflation over the past few years. We've had pressure from our end on, of course, labor, uh, transportation, packaging, and now even cocoa. But national sales for Girl Scouts were up a bit this past season and national participation increased. So more girls were participating in the fall than the previous year, which is great news. The per girl average was down a little bit, but in your area, Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains, you had another very strong year. Sellers increased over 7%, total sales almost 8.5%, Nut sales increased almost five and a half percent and your PGA increased. So all, all good statistics. Your magazines and more went up significantly and was a big part of the overall success for this past year. So thank you and congratulations to you all on a very awesome last year, 2023. You're on a roll and with good momentum going into this coming season. Now, let's look specifically at the, uh, the items available on your in-person nut card here on the left part of the screen. There's 30 total items that are available for ordering. And Crystal and Lauren and Robin uh, do analysis about uh, what's uh, top sellers nationally, regionally in your council area and come up with the lineup that appears on the nut card, the in-person offerings uh, from girls to their customers. And here it is. These are the 16 items plus the donation option that will be available for this year. So again, they're doing the analysis, uh, looking at... Uh, 
uh, how well things are selling, and then the top five sellers, FYI, for your area this past season, peanut butter bears, once again, dark chocolate caramel caps, the owls, the penguins, and the holiday tin, where the decision was made to put the deluxe pecan clusters into the holiday tin a couple of years ago, and that has risen to one of your top, top, top products. So, uh, Again, just a, an interesting point there. Now, your materials, your paperwork, I believe we established and confirmed that they would have been received by the la uh, end of last week, maybe the middle of uh, last week. So uh, you should have enough information, uh, order cards, flyers, instructions for your troops and your girls. Uh, of course, if you don't, or for some reason you didn't get that box, please let the team know so we can track it down for you. Now, here's a quick update. And oftentimes the girls like to have product knowledge about what they're offering to customers and some information specifically about the products. Well, this year we are going to be using only cocoa source from Rainforest Alliance certified farms. So it's a, a really cool point and it's indication that we're doing things responsibly, socially and environmentally. And you may see the logo for the Rainforest Alliance in places around the community, such as Starbucks. And once again, we'll have options for customers with a gluten allergy or sensitivity. Of those 30 total items, 18 of them are considered gluten-free. There's a little GF on the box or the can or the, or the uh, tin. And online, where the products are displayed, you'll see the gluten-free indication as well. And then we have a link for all the product nutritionals and ingredients. So for customers and girls that want to know that level of detail ahead of time, they can do that before placing the order for a specific item. Every year we have a unique Girl Scout collectible tin and this year's collectible Girl Scout tin in fact is the third in the series of the memory box theme. So we've had two previous of this series. Uh, now this one features images and graphics of Girl Scout items from 2004 to 2018. The product in the tin is the milk chocolate mint treasures, the individually wrapped chocolates that are delicious. Uh, and again, the series, it fits together with the two previous. The tins are made in the USA. And if a customer, yourselves, anyone that didn't get the two earlier tins in the set, those can be ordered online this year uh, as we're getting to the end of that series. Now, the holiday tin this year is Garden Friends, is what we call it, and it's a winter scene featuring a uh, squirrel and a cardinal in kind of a fun setting, so a very cute holiday tin. As I mentioned, the deluxe pecan clusters are offered on the order card. It also is uh, available with milk chocolate pretzels on the online Girl Scout store, and I think the holiday tin really highlights that the products make awesome holiday gifts because the delivery in the middle of November, just in time for the holiday season, and a great way for girls to get additional orders uh, for teachers, mail carrier, uh, neighbors, really anybody that would appreciate getting a top quality Girl Scout item around holiday time. And now, as I mentioned, there's analysis done about what should the lineup look like, how should it be set up and structured, different variety of flavors, price points, et cetera. Well, on the order card this year, as well as online, the Thai chili mix will be available. And this is, uh, it's got a little bit of a kick. <laughs> Sweet Thai chili almonds, rice crackers, wasabi peas, sesame sticks, garlic breadsticks, and as you can see, sriracha corn nuggets. I think the heat is in the wasabi and the sriracha. <laughs> I'm not much for the real spicy stuff, but this one is going to be packaged in a pop-top can and available both online and for in-person ordering. And then the second new item in the lineup, it's not new, it's been offered online and we discovered that it was a very popular one on the Girl Scout store will be the dark chocolate peppermint pretzels. So it's pretzels uh, enrobed in dark chocolate, but little bits of peppermint, like little candy cane pieces on top of the pretzels, which really makes it tasty and different. And also again, kind of features the holiday gift giving because it's uh, packaged in a stand up holiday bag, uh, bright red holiday bag. 
Incidentally, the two products that were replaced to make room for these two were the Cheddar Caramel Crunch and Hot Cajun mix. So those two items will still be available online for purchasing if those uh, became uh, your favorites over the years or last year, uh, but they won't be on the in-person option. A new item for online ordering, vanilla honey roasted pecans in a pop top can, all pecans, and they're honey roasted and then dusted with uh, vanilla flavoring. So um, we like this one, but I think we're going to wait and see how it does on your online store for results for consideration uh, in offering it in the other part of the sale for next uh, next season. Now, the donation, um, specifically the donation option is a really great way for customers to uh, not only support Girl Scouts, but also place an order that will support the military through an organization called Operation Gratitude. Now, this is a great uh, organization that's been partnering with Girl Scouts and with Ashton Farms for many years. Uh, Robin Boyd has a history with them and can confirm the quality uh, really operation that they uh, and job that they do and getting uh, uh, everything out to the military personnel um, everywhere worldwide. Uh, good point to make here that any of the orders that come in through the donations count for true proceeds. And they also count for girl rewards and toward patches. So girls can generate additional sales with these donation orders and it's all good because they get credit for those. Now, as Doug mentioned, I'll just touch on a little bit more detail and expand on his comments from earlier. When a customer selects the nut and chocolate from the online store, they're given two choices. The uh, online girl delivery, it is the shorter list of products. In other words, exactly the items that are available on the nut card. So 16 plus the donation, they get to pay with a credit card, but they don't have to pay for shipping because those products are going to come to you with all of the other in-person orders and they'll be distributed out to your troops and on to your girls. So super convenient and popular. It's the most popular channel that we have right now, the online girl delivery. And that's where you save on shipping costs. You do have to wait until the end. So it's going to be the 12th and 13th, I think it is, of November that those products will come. And then the second option here for an online shopper is direct shipped. Here the customer sees all 30 of the options for items. They pay with a credit card again, but they will need to be willing to pay for shipping to have it sent directly to them at home. Uh, they'll come quickly. You know, as soon as the order is placed, it'll be within, say, five days or so. So well within the end of the program happening that you'd be able to get the order for a direct shipped um, box of items. And then here is the shipping chart for this year, updated for 2024. Uh, as always, the shipping chart is based on the size of the shopping cart. So the relative shipping rate scales up as the size of the shopping cart increases. But what we've done is expanded the range for the dollar amount this year. It used to be 1 to 15, then 15 to 30, then 30 to 45. We've made those tiers $30 in uh, range so that a customer can get more products within that kind of close to the same shipping cost as in the past. And the other point that I would make is what uh, the cost used to have a um, an add-on at the top level. So when a customer would add on above 150, let's say there was an add-on, now the shipping cost uh, is capped. And so once you hit 151, it does not in, in, uh, uh, increase any further above that. So you can combine orders. You can place a big uh, big order for a big box of nuts, nuts and chocolate and uh, ex, you know, basically know what it's going to cost you to have those sent to you. And then about the delivery, oh, 15th and 16th of November. So you will receive a delivery Primarily, everybody is going to be on the 16th. We've got a, we've got some on Friday the 15th, but mostly it's going to be deliveries on the 16th. So you, you can plan for that date to be uh, when you would expect to uh, 
have the product arrive, but you will have confirmation well before that date. And as we get toward the end and into the very beginning of November, we can confirm uh, confirm your date. And then as we get a little bit closer, confirm your window of time that you can expect the truck to arrive at your home or if you've made arrangements for a public location to receive the product. But carefully count the items. Uh, Doug mentioned the delivery ticket. The driver is going to arrive with a delivery ticket, and then you should take the time to count out everything carefully. You can also print out that delivery ticket from the M2 system. Remember that the products are delivered to the item or to the piece. So you're going to have one column with full cases and then one column with individual items. So, for example, 10 cases of cashews and two cans. 12 cases of peanut butter bears and four boxes and on down the row on down the list for all the flavors and then count those and make sure you've got everything that you were expecting to distribute out to your troops. Keep everything in a cool, dry, safe location. Let your volunteers and your leaders know when you would like to have them come and pick up. Get the products out to them quickly. As Doug mentioned, there's delivery tickets for the troop level. You could have those ready to go or even pre-sort ahead of time so you can make the pickup as efficient and quick as possible for everybody and for yourselves. Uh, there's a way, the place to sign on the delivery tickets. If there happens to be a shortage or a damage, uh, situation, uh, make note on the delivery ticket so everyone's aware of that and we can get those um, missing items to you as quickly as possible. And if something comes up after the fact, um, you know, let Lauren or Robin know uh, so that they can um, uh, take action on getting things to you as needed for your girls and customers. And I think I, okay, I'm now going to hand it over to Robin to cover and share some information about some uh, council specific uh, topics. Thanks, Todd. We are so excited uh, to have both you and Doug with us tonight to get us so prepared. We want to remind you that the Expo 2024 is right around the corner. Expo 2024 is October 5th. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the New Hampshire Sportsplex in Bedford, New Hampshire. You'll meet over 75 exhibitors, including our product team, information about our fall product program, and samples from Todd from Ashton Farms. Other exciting things to see include an inflatable planetarium, Ladder the Blue Whale, if you ever met Ladder before, performers including Alex the Magician, you may have met her before, archery, fly fishing, lots of booths with hands-on STEM activities, and check out our Take Action Zone this year focused on mental health. The first 500 tickets purchased will receive a free reusable event bag at the door. Questions? Contact our awesome customer care team at 888-474-9686. I'm sure you all have that phone number memorized by now. We can't wait to see you there. Tickets are $10 per person, and they're available now on the events calendar at girlscoutsgwm.org. <laughs> I want to be mindful of time since it is a school night for most. Um, we have hit 7.30, so if you have any more questions, feel free to stay on. Um, but if you need to go get little ones to bed and all that, feel free to jump off. Well, we're going to have this recording, as you know. We'll send, Lauren will get that email out to all of you by next week because we have an additional training uh, Saturday. And uh, we just thank you all so much for your support and all of your help. And we couldn't do it without all of you. You help us answer questions that we can't be everywhere. So we really appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful night and reach out if you need anything. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody.